What's up, YouTube, man? We back with another video. It's your boy, Man Man So Crazy. I'm back with the Daniel Reese Show. You know, today's topic is about Lil Boosie, the badass syndicate label, and um, TBG. Is it just me? Or I'm wondering, like, why Boosie won't promote TBG? One that was Ivy, one of Ivy's best friends. Like, another thing, too, about this, I was thinking about this, too. Why everybody that signs on the badass syndicate label, they not bigger than Boosie? Everybody agree with me with this. Little Bo uh, Young Blue, man, Young Blue is a, is a new school artist. And he cold, he real talented. And I don't think he getting the recognition that he deserved because badass syndicate. Badass is not gonna allow nobody to be on his label and pass him. The little dude look blurry. He ain't did nothing with him. Uh, the only person that's really getting some shine out there is little Tootie Raw. Tootie Raw, the only one that's gonna prevail out of that badass syndicate. Nobody, all boosted partners and shit that was signed to his label, like the, the quick and the and quick badass and um the other little cat, whatever, the older cat that was fucking with him. Man, them boys ain't did shit. They ain't did shit with their music, man. Nothing. And then they, some of them got some hits. I don't think Boosie doing the right thing, you know what I'm saying, keeping his, his people fed unlike other artists. Like you got you got other labels like CMG, CMG, and and Moneybag Young Black Youngster. They shit. To be honest, my opinion, they didn't pass fucking. Uh, they didn't pass. Yo, got it. Yo, got it. Got money. You know what I'm saying? Booster, he won't allow that. Like back in the day, it, you know, this allegedly, all the people that was under Booster, you know what I'm saying? He was getting them wiped out the way. You know, I think Booster want to be the best nigga. That's coming out of uh the biggest nigga that ever come out of Baton Rouge, but you still got Kevin Gates and shit or whatever. But hey, man, like I say, man, all my shit is a legend. I only report shit that's already out there, and I wonder why Boosie. Well, I ain't seen Boosie post a fucking Young Blue picture or an album, and I don't know how fucking long. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong now. I haven't seen him post none of that shit. None of that. But at the same time, he got to, at the same time, he need to, you know, keep working and shit. Because cause little Blue, little Young Blue, man, Young Blue, man, I've been on Young Blue since he was still in Alabama, man, when he had the, the uh, yelling Margellas hit, you know. He, he didn't need Boosie. You know what I'm saying? Boosie, his career, is slowly declining. Every now and then, we'll get us a, a old school Boosie hit. You know what I'm saying? We'll get us an old school Boosie hit. But I grew up on Boosie. I ain't heard no real little Boosie shit in a long time. In a long fucking time. And then I think Boosie, he trying to catch this Mo3 wave. Like he getting Mo3, you know what I'm saying? Helping Mo3 out or whatever. No, bro. Mo3 helping you out. He bringing you back. He the one who putting CPR in your career. You know, that's why you doing all these other revenues, making money with, with the noodles and the chips. And I ain't knocking none of that. Man, salute, bro, man, for real, bro. But what happened to Webbing, man? Why you won't do a song with Webbing, bro? Man, if you do a fucking song with Webbing, bro, do you know how, most, how your fucking lawyer, day one fans, will gravitate towards that? Man, I know I ain't the only person that feel like that. Like the dude Pac-Man, the uh, the Pac dude from uh, Detroit. He said something on his song and Webby came back and was like, man, that shit gay as a motherfucker. No, that shit ain't. No, bro, we, we missed that shit. We missed that shit. That shit really did hurt our motherfucking feelings, bro, that we can't get a boosie and a motherfucking Webby track. Like, for real, bro, we missed that shit. That's where right, swear left. Man, what's up, mate? Girl, give me that. For real, man. 
why you got them and got your dog got the like that then when you came up and like i don't want to talk about no motherfucking with like damn why well, like bro that kind of look boosie bro we miss you man we miss you boosie for real man what man we been where we held you down when you was in prison like we had your back, man. Boosie this, boosie that, man. You had people out of Jackson, Mississippi, bro. Repping Boosie. You know what I'm saying? Repping them like they really signed to this man. You got loyal, loyal fans, bro. In the South region. Boosie one of the one of the kings of the fucking South, man. Before Boosie went global, bro, we was buying that nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? We was in this shit. But now you got all these these other loose songs and shit that ain't really your style, bro. We, we need that old Boosie, bro. We need that motherfucking 2004, 2005 Boosie, man. When it was love, man. You know what I'm saying? That ghetto stories, man. We need that. We need that 99 Boosie, man. That 1998 shit. That, that, yeah, that camp life. We miss that, bro. We need that, bro. You know, stop trying to gravitate to these young niggas thinking they gonna help your career and shit. Cause yo, you ain't doing shit for your artists, bro. Like, man, young blue post have been up out of here, man. Like he 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 getting his bread. Man, young blue still ran the same motherfucking chain. Man, bro, why, bro, let let that man go, man. Let him go. For real, bro. Cause if you sign the boosted label, bro, you is not gonna get past boosted. They ain't gonna get past Boosie. The only motherfucker Boosie gonna allow to get past him is who? Tootie Raw. And who is Tootie Raw? His son. <laughs> and I ain't knocking that, cause you know, goddamn man, my son gonna yeah, yeah. You know? But like I keep telling people, bro, like, Boosie, he, he a force not to, you know what I'm saying, fuck with. You can't really fuck with Boosie, man. Boosie really, he really. A big done daughter. He really living like that. He really cut and fucked up like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, why? And another thing that gets to me, bro. Man, Fredo Bain, one of the hardest motherfucking niggas in BR right now. In BR, bro. Man, Fredo Bain, one of the hardest niggas, bro. You 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 sat there, you practically was with little, little Yoshi when he was a little old bitty boy. When he was a little old bitty, little old bitty boy, you was with Lil Yo shit. Like, come on, bro. It's a it's a it's a reason why they ain't fucking with you and they they started doing these rants about you saying this shit about they uncle and, and that you know fuck you, they ain't claiming you, bro. It's some more shit that's going on. I don't know. It's a lot of shit that people be thinking they know. They don't know this shit bigger than the streets, bro. It's a lot of niggas been losing their life. For a long motherfucking time and be out with this ongoing fuel that they got out there. NBA, BBG, TBG, you know what I'm saying? Badass. Bro, why the fuck, like, why you won't do a song with these niggas, bro? Like, he feel like if a nigga ain't right, hey, hey, just getting bigger than him, he ain't gonna fuck with you. Then, then another thing, too, bro, like, you need to start, like, if you really, if, if Ivy was your nigga, bro. If I was her, I feel like you'll be doing songs and shit with TBG artists. TBG artists, bro, like for real, bro. Like the real G money in them, bro. The real G money, man, he was hard. Quick was hard. Fredo Bane, hard. You know what I'm saying? Like you never, I never seen you promote them. You said Fredo Bane was your cousin. But you don't want to get into it with the NBA Young Boy situation. So, you know, it, it's there go to show you a nigga will, a nigga will fuck with the streets for they fuck with their family. And if that's your cousin, bro, take your cousin side. You know, I take my cousin side up in this shit. You know, but Fredo Bang, bro, I fuck with you. I fuck with you, bro. I fuck with you, bro. Keep going. You know what I'm saying? You on your way to the top. The way you got signed, you ain't had no co sign or nothing. You, 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 you signed to a big label, Def Jam. You know what I'm saying? Every fucking song, you know what I'm saying, Fredo Drop, bro, is a certified classic hit, bro. Every one of them. And he not getting the recognition he deserves. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
when people sign the labels, they you can't drop music how it was at first. Cause like I used to be sitting back waiting on Fredo to drop. Waiting on Fredo. I've been waiting on the name of G for I don't know how motherfucking long to drop. Like, we need that. Man, man, Baton Rouge been the motherfucking a uh, uh, place to 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 where all the good motherfucking real South music, man, coming from, man, Louisiana, bro. I miss that shit. I wish Lil Boosa was like a baby or something. Like a stunner. You know? So he can go out there and, 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 and get all these niggas out there. Cause look, every time it's a big rising artist that's that's coming out of Memphis, who the first motherfucker that's running to them? Yo got it. <laughs> if yo got it, yo got it gonna come in everybody. He come he came in Chopper, you know what I'm saying, Block Boy, you know, uh he uh it's another artist out there named Co Cash. You know. Man, that shit, that shit, for real, bro. Salute to God, man. He doing real boss shit, and he don't care nothing about the shine and none of that. Boosie be on Instagram. Boosie still want that spotlight. He want to be up on the front, front, forefront. It, it, it ain't no more sit back, bro. You an OG now. Sit back. Get your bread. You know? I, I love the hustle. I love what he doing, bro. He just recently got his Instagram snatched away, and he asked Mark to get that bitch back. Man, Boosie, don't let that motherfucking shit right there turn your career into some more shit. Man, you you one of the hardest niggas, bro. Like, bro, I love Joe Ed, bro, coming up, bro, and I still do, man. I'm still a Boosie fan today, bro. Y'all might think I'm bullshitting next anybody. I still bump all Boosie shit, all the old shit, that jealousy, all that shit. Boosie, man, for real, man. Young Blue, keep on doing your thing, my nigga, bro. It's it's coming, bro. If somebody, if y'all got a problem with it, Young Blue, man, keep doing your thing, bro. You go, you on the way, bro. You you coming, man? Ain't no way Young Blue ain't made the goddamn freshman goddamn cover yet. Man, that man got too many hits. Goddamn it, ice on my baby. Goddamn it, miss it, baby. Oh shit, complicated. I think they got too, too much shit he got them he got going on, bro. But, man, yeah, man. Man, y'all leave motherfucking y'all y'all thoughts in the comment section. Boy, this is the Dangerous Show, man. I'm going to come right with a part two uh, to this uh, video, man, because, like, y'all think I don't really know shit about Boosie, man. But, you know, my, my people, man, I got big dog people in my family, man. They know everybody Boosie, though. Yeah, Boosie used to really run the streets out here in Jackson, Mississippi. So, yeah, man, for real. Y'all, uh, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the page, man. We finna turn this bitch up, man. The Man Man Show, the Daniel Reese Show. We out this bitch one.